So we're the last day of Fashion Week. Well, it's our first show of the new Sonia by yeah. Sonia Morgan. I still try to like please my mom. My mother was very specific about not wanting me to have my hair curled today for the show. What? You know everything's all good. I disagree. When you said you were gonna have a drink, I think it's a destructive path. John never misses the opportunity to make it. To f it up. Sometimes I think the relationship gets stunted. Like fine, go off and do it on your own then. It's like I have a return phone call for two days. Leah, are you wearing a Sonya dress? I was wait, supposed what? to wear this. You know what? I told you to explain. That's not athleisure. And this, I wouldn't call, this is not athleisure either. She's got no idea what she's talking about. She wants me, look at the dress you're wearing, okay? And look at, imagine if I, I showed up in a f***ing. And this was the only option? That's all she sent me. She did send me two dresses. I mean, okay. She's passive aggressive. I, I, I mean, hate passive aggressive people. I can't no, stand No, no. I'd rather I mean, you be a this, in my face. This, I'm pretty sure Sonia is trying to send me some type of message. 1985 is gone. Oh. It's over. <laughs> JP Morgan. Give me another one. I'll f him. Maybe this is like, you know, me waking up with a horse head in the bed. Oh, was this a part of the look too? Oh, and here, that's, here's part of the look too. The sunglasses. Am, are you, where's the crack pipe? Because who would be wearing this except someone that's high on crack? I don't know. That's it. I don't necessarily think that Sonia is cool enough to actually have gotten that she was trying to purposely make Leah look stupid. I think that she maybe thought that Leah would look cool. Are you bringing this in? Yeah, I'm gonna bring this in. I'm gonna be the girl. Can I not? Can I like walk away? <laughs> no, bitch, you're walking in with me. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't do it. Yeah. It's cool. I don't know her. I'm holding no. this proudly. No, I, yeah, no. My dad called me and was like, your mother, um, is sick. doesn't want to talk to you right now. Did like something happen that makes her not want to talk to you? Well, that's you know, terrible. listen, when, you, when you've when you had a, a nine year period of not drinking and then decide to start doing it, obviously, rightly so, my mom is going to be worried. Well, why'd you tell her? And that's what my dad's asking me, actually. Right. My mom, I told her that I did end up drinking. Not the end of the world. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't responding to my text messages after I told her. So when I called my dad after Garrow Sparrow, I told him I'm trying to get in touch with mom. I can't get in touch with her. And he's like, you know, mommy's like really mad at you and she just doesn't want to talk to you right now. She's afraid you're going to go to that deep, dark place. I, I would never go to that deep, well, dark place Well, she doesn't know again. that. She saw that, and that's what she's freaking out. Well, it's more about how are you feeling about it. I feel like I don't have any regrets. I feel like I was in a safe, good environment. I don't feel like I put myself in any danger. Um, yeah, I had a hangover the next day. That part sucks, and I'm not really used to those. Right. Um, she's just overreacting to it. By not talking to you is really not helpful. It's not helpful for my mom. When she hears I'm drinking again, it's just like a trigger for her. I definitely think that my mom still views me as that wild teenager. It's very hard for her to accept me as a 37-year-old woman who's got her shit together. What are you wearing, by the way? Well, that's what I was gonna grab. Oh, okay, good. So I'm wearing, I think I'm gonna wear this one. I'm wearing Sonia's designs. Of course you are. I think I'm gonna wear this one, that's more me. Sonia was kind enough to send uh, all the ladies options to wear to her show, and I was lucky enough to get a very cool sort of Liza Minnelli-esque jacket. Yeah, her stuff is very fashionable. You can work with it. How's John? John's good, but you know, John never misses the opportunity to make to f it up. To make a bad decision. Oh God, what's he done now? He just doesn't, you know, he just doesn't think sometimes. With you or about work or life or with, what? With me. I feel like John sometimes makes lifestyle choices that he knows I don't like. And he did it to me the other night. He wanted to go to this event that we were invited to, but I didn't want to go. Just too much, too many people, and he went. 
On his own? Yeah. I told what happened to you him. last night? You disappeared. No. We yeah, didn't. no, because you gave. You know what he did? I no, had. Honey, I had let's a, focus <laughs> on the beautiful bride. It's like he's sneaking out to do it, even though he's like, he's like, but I didn't. You said you didn't want to go, so I did. But we're in a You're relationship like, for seven and a half years. It just, it was kind of the answer is like, of course, I don't want to go either, right? That doesn't make me feel good. That doesn't give me the sense of well-being and love. What's out there that you're missing? Because clearly, if you're not home with me, you're not happy with me.